this movie is going to be pretty obvious. For one thing, this is a girl. Obvious. Kitty Layden is her name, and she's in the picture of the Missouri Traveler. But the thing that is not so obvious is that we're going to go on a helicopter tour of Hollywood. Although that's a helicopter she's getting into, so I guess it's obvious. That's it. Now, just tuck your skirt in. That's right. Now, when you step out again, be sure there's something to step out on. All right, Kitty, we're going to sail over the studios first, and we'll drop in on one of them a little bit later and actually see a picture company at work. You know, getting into Hollywood studios always has been a problem for California visitors. Years ago, when films were silent, people paid 25 cents to sit in the bleachers and watch the actors at work. But uh, to tell you the truth, finally had, they had to stop it. Uh, the ticket taker was making more money than the actors. We're over Hollywood Bowl right now, and that's where, of course, Judy Garland and Leopold Stokowski and Jan Pierce and Eddie Fisher, when Debbie lets him out of the house, entertain for many people. Of course, they entertain one at a time, not all at once. Over there, Kitty, is Griffith Park Observatory, where the people look at the stars, and the stars look at the stars, and the people look at the stars looking at the stars. Uh, Oh, there's Hollywood's newest skyscraper, the Capitol Tower. And uh, they tell me it's packed full of Frank Sinatra records. That's why it's round. They also tell me if you give it a little twist, you'll hear one of Frankie's records. Uh, I don't think so, unless you could possibly twist it at 45 RPMs. We're now over the corner of Hollywood and Vine. And Kitty, if you look very, very careful, straight down, look hard. Kim Novak is waving to Jane... Ma oh, you missed it, Kitty. You didn't look hard enough. Columbia Studios, scene of many Rita Hayworth <whistles> hits. Below is Paramount. Looks like a parking lot. Well, actually, it used to be a studio until Cecil B. DeMille's Red Sea ran over it. Kitty, that's Grumman's Chinese Theater. It's where you can see the footprints of all the great stars. And who knows, maybe someday you too will be standing in a bucket of wet cement in that lobby. And you're seeing it from way up here. 20th Century Fox Studios. See that thing that looks like a piano top? Well, that's a lake. Hundreds of pirates have walked the plank there. See the thing that looks like a wall? That's a blue sky used for a backdrop in lots of scenes. And see the thing that looks like a building? That is a building. One minute south by helicopter, or 20 minutes by car, or perhaps you could walk it in about an hour and a half. That's MGM. This studio has lots of stages, a giant back lot, metropolitan street sets, and MGM's own private lake. And it's been said that Wallace Berry and Montgomery Clift and Clark Gable and even Lana Turner have become old salts on that lake. <laughs> of course, Lana Turner may not be an old salt, but she sure has a nice shaker. Universal International, perhaps the largest studio of all in area, this is where they made Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein and scared lots of people. Then they made Abbott and Costello meet Dracula and scared more people. When they made Abbott and Costello meet Abbott and Costello, everybody got scared. Disney Studios, world famous for animated cartoons and features and true life adventures. And all made possible because Mickey Mouse had a good business manager. Minnie Mouse. Hey, Kitty, hold on now. We're landing at Warner Brothers Studio. How can a studio gateman stop you when you drop in from the sky? Look, Ma, no wheels. All right, Kitty, in just a few minutes, you'll get into your costume and join them where C.V. Whitney is filming the Missouri Traveler. Hey, there's Brandon DeWilda, who plays the title role. And here's Mary Hosford, co-starring in her first picture, and romantic Gary Merrill. You're now looking at your idol, Lee Marvin. And that's funny man Paul Ford. Recognize him? That's right, he's the colonel on Phil Silver Sergeant Bilko. Hey, careful! <laughs> no, it's okay, nobody hurt. Just stuntman Billy Vincent keeping in practice. Billy says, why walk if you can fall? Now, Kitty, you can call on Lee Marvin and Gary Merrill. Oh, oh, looks like the gentlemen are occupied at the present time. Next time, we'll phone first. Here's one of the big romantic moments from the Missouri Traveler. 
Mary Hosford has just melted toward rugged Lee Marvin. Hmm. That's what I call melted. Hey, Kitty! Don't be mad at Lee. <laughs> he can't be kissing you, Kitty. Mary's the star. It's in the script. <laughs> Kitty, come back. Kitty, come back. Oh, well, that's a Missouri traveler for you. <laughs>